Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install one dev on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home lab, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I will be installing today, OneDev. It's a Git server for CI, so I see a CD, a, can, a Kanban, uh, and packages, ultra easy to set up and maintain. Um, it's out of the box, symbol, search and uh, a navigation, supports all the languages, and um, it's kind of like GitHub, but your own self-hosted version. Um, and maybe like uh, GitLab too. Um, so, so it has all the features that you need to uh, be a dev. There's quite a bit. And on their GitHub, this is their GitHub. So it's got all their uh, screenshots and everything. And built-in Docker, NPM, Maven, NuGet, Pi, 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 and a Ruby Gems a re a registry. That's really neat. It's a nice feature, and that just makes it to where you don't have to have a Docker Hub subscription or anything. You can just host your own Docker containers <clears throat> in the registry in, in your own a registry. Uh, a lightweight review without a pull request, and then a command palette. A markdown, smart editor, a trend by language, effortless, uh, high availability and scalability. That's enterprise edition only though. And these are enterprise features and it's fast and reliable and moderate resource usage as well. So that's a little bit about, uh, the one dev, but I'm going to go over the website real quick and it might have more. There we go. And, um, it has a screenshot too of it. So, um, you can go back to the features and that just goes back to the GitHub. So that's a little bit about a one dev and that's what we'll be installing today on Portainer. So now I'm going to start on big bear video assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over to search. I'm going to type one dev so now i'm going to go to how to install one dev on portainer so i'm going to go into docker compose so version uh 3.7 of docker compose file for formats being used i'm going to set some services and then the first service underneath the services is called big bear one dev the image is coming off of docker by default because there's no year before this this is the docker image this is the docker image tag the container name is going to be uh, Big Bear One Dev, and this is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. The environment variables, and then it's using the Hibernate library to connect to the database. So these credentials up here should match uh, Big Bear One Dev DB down here, and um, the uh, the Big Bear One Dev a DB right here arrives with a service name right here, and then the port. The uh, database name and um, the username and the password. And um, it also creates an initial user so you can log in. So uh, Big Bear uh, is the username and then password and then uh, email address and then the initial server URL. This will be your Portainer's IP address. Restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then volumes. So Big Bear One Dev Data is a local volume that's defined down in the bottom. And this is on the host side. And then on the container side, it's opt one dev. And now on the host side is var run docker.sock. And then var run docker.sock on the container side. The left side is the host. The right side is the container side. Um, so this gives it access to the Docker engine. This cont container. 
So ports are 6610. That's on the host side. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. Same goes with 6611 down here. 6610 on the uh, cont container. Do not change the container side. And same goes with this one. And uh, depends on it depends on the service down here. Big Bear One Dev ADB, and then networks. Big Bear One Dev Net a network. I'm gonna put it in a network, and it's defined down the bottom. I'm gonna define the service for the database, which is gonna be a Postgres database. And um, Big Bear One Dev DB is the service name. The container name is gonna be the same, and this is so a Docker doesn't have to generate a random name for this container. And then. The image is coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no year before this. It's Postgres, and then the Docker image tag is 14. This is the Docker image. Restart and let stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then the environment variables. So it's going to set the Postgres user and the Postgres password and the Postgres DB a name. Um, once you create this container down here, you cannot change the credentials uh, from the environment variables anymore. You will need to use SQL. So volumes, so Big Bear One Dev Postgres is on the host side. This is the local volume that's defined now on the bottom. And then on the container side is var lib Postgres QL data. And this is on the container side. And networks, I'm going to put it in the same network as this one and this one. So Big Bear One Dev Network. And now I'm going to define the network and I'm going to define the volumes. So uh, this service up here, it connects to the de a database service down here and stores the data in this one. So I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go to my portainer and get this set up and installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start my portainer. I'm going to go to local, stacks, and then I'm going to add stack up here. And I'm going to put a stack name of one dev stack and then now all portainer stacks are is using docker and pose underneath to deploy it so i'm going to come down here to the web web editor i'm going to paste in the docker and pose that I explained over in big brother view assets and then now i'm going to say deploy the stack down here and um now it's deployed and it's ready to go so now i'm going to go over the portainer's uh, ui so if you go in the stack You'll see stack and then editor up here. You'll see actions. So you can stop the stack, delete the stack, create template from the stack. You can also go down here to stack duplication slash migration. You can see the containers in the stack. There's two. And access controls. You can go up here to the editor and you can uh, ch change the Docker and pose. And then once you do that, you can update the stack down here. Now, uh, if you're using a latest tag or a tag uh, that is... Uh, uh, ch changing by the developer pushing ch changes to it, you can just repull the image and re redeploy. That that means it, it pulls down the new code from the registry, and then it gets it redeployed, and you have the new ch uh, changes, and then you press update. So um, you can also have options by going in the cont container, and you can have actions up here. So start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate, so edit. Uh, these are the container actions. And then cont container status down here. Logs, great for debugging, inspect, stats, console, attach, access control, create image, the container details like the image, the port configuration, 6610 on the host and 6610 on the container and same with 11 and 11 um the command the entry point the environment variables and then labels uh set a restart pop, pop policy right here and then you can press update and now you can see volumes that are uh defined and net networks as well so if you go backwards and you go back into the stack you can see this other container and the same options are over here too and the same info. 
just adjust, adjust a little bit different for the cont container. So that's a little about Portainer's UI. So now I'm going to add the IP to the uh, URL in the uh, environment variables. So I'm going to go in the stack and then editor and then the initial ser server URL. I'm going to add my Portainer's IP right here. And then I'm going to say update the stack. I don't need to repull the image or anything. I'm going to just update it. So it's been updated. So now I'm going to go to the UI. So the portainer's IP address and then the port is 6610 if you didn't change it on the host port. So I'm going to go to it and now I'm going to put a the uh, initial uh, user that we created from the environment variables. So that's going to be admin at example.com and then password is password. And then now I'm going to sign in. So we can see that our, our, our projects right here. So you can see prop projects, pull requests, issues, builds, packages, and then administration, which is a lot of options. Um, uh, one thing that I would recommend you doing is coming up to the a user profile and going to change your password. And then um, you can also change your profile and you can also change your email addresses. And you can also uh, put your SSH keys in as well. Um, access tokens. So the, the projects, if you go and you create a project, I'm going to just say testing. And then you can, you can turn on code management, issue management, and package management. You can't turn on time tracking unless you have enterprise. Um, so I'm going to create. So now if you go back to the home, uh, you'll see a project here. So you can go into it and, um, and that, now you can see commits, branches, tags, the, co uh, the code comments and the, co uh, the code compare is pretty handy. I want you to have code in there You can see pull request, the issues, uh, boards. So, um, you can just create a. There we go. And then save. Then now you can transfer it to closed or transfer it to open. A um, uh, milestones and builds and then packages, statistics. So that's a little bit about uh, on devs UI. So I just went over step by step on getting one dev running on Portainer. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go out in the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.